In this video we'll be looking at the two-axis thumb joystick module and how to interface one with an Arduino. We'll build two simple projects, one that illustrates how the Arduino reads and converts analog signals to digital, and a second one that uses those same signals to light corresponding LEDs on a breadboard. These thumb joysticks are spring-loaded and self-centering, which means when you release the control stick in the center, it will center itself. The purpose of a joystick like this one is simply to communicate motion from two axes to a microcontroller such as the Arduino that I'll be working with in this video. It's able to do this by utilizing a gimbal mechanism and two 10k potentiometers which function as voltage dividers. These voltage dividers can be adjusted with the control stick. The two potentiometers provide analog inputs for the x-axis left to right and the y-axis up and down. And here you can see the two potentiometers in action as I move the control stick. If I were to move it diagonally, it would register that movement across both of the potentiometers. If I push the control stick all the way forward, it will turn the potentiometer contact arm to one end of the track. If I was to pull it all the way back, it would turn that contact arm the other way. It also has a small switch which activates when I push down on the cap. Note the small lever here pushing down on the head of that small switch, and this will operate no matter what position the control stick happens to be in. Now, in order to read the physical position of the control stick, we need to measure the change in resistance of each potentiometer. Remember before I said that the two potentiometers are acting as voltage dividers. Microcontrollers such as the Arduino are capable of detecting digital binary signals. Today we'll be working with 5 volts. If it sees a 5 volt signal, it registers that as binary 1. If it sees 0 volts, it registers that as binary 0. But what if the signal is, say, 1.92 volts? Is that a 1 or a 0? And in many cases, we need to be able to measure those signals that vary. And these are called analog signals. A 5 volt analog sensor might output a range of values anywhere from, say, 0.01 volts all the way through to 4.99 volts. What we can do here is use the analog pins on the Arduino and something called ADC, Analog to Digital Converter, to monitor and read the change in voltage values coming from each of the potentiometers in the joystick. Now, Arduino has an ADC resolution of 10 bits, which means that the values on each analog channel or axis can range from 0 to 1023. So if the stick is moved on the x-axis, these values will range from 0 through to 1023. And the same thing would apply for the y-axis. If the control stick is centered, the value would be somewhere around 512. Okay, now let's build a simple project that shows how we can interface this thumb joystick with an Arduino. GND is the ground pin, and we connect that to ground on the Arduino. VCC supplies power to the joystick module, and we can connect that to the 5 volt output on the Arduino board. X provides the analog output for the left to right X axis, and this we will connect to an analog pin, specifically A1, so analog pin 1. Y provides the analog output for the up down Y axis, and we'll connect that to another analog pin, A0. And D is the digital output from the push switch. It's normally open, meaning that the digital readout from the D pin will be high. And when the button is pushed, it will connect to ground, giving an output of low. And we're going to connect this to the digital pin 8. For each of the connections, I'm using female to male jumper wire, uh, the female connecting to the pins on the thumbstick joystick module itself and the mail pins connecting to the Arduino board. Now I'm going to move to the Arduino IDE software and we'll upload a fairly simple sketch to the Arduino board that will be able to read, interpret and convert the analog signals coming from the joystick. The sketch starts by initializing connections between the joystick module and the Arduino. The D pin is connected to the Arduino digital pin 2 while the X and Y pins from the module are connected to analog pins 0 and 1. Next, we initialize the D pin, which we know is connected to the switch on the joystick module. We tell it that it's an input, and we set the default logic to high, which we know is unpressed. And then finally, we move to the loop function, which is essentially where we tell the board to repeatedly poll the module to determine its current position. It's using the digital read function to check the D pin 
logic, which is the switch, and then it uses the analog read function to constantly measure and assess the voltages coming from the X pin and Y pin, which we know are the two potentiometers in the module. There are a couple of additional statements in here which essentially make it easier for us to view the data as it's output through the serial monitor. We've asked it to print uh, labels before each value, so we'll see switch X axis, Y axis, and it will be uh, much clearer what value we're actually looking at. Additionally, we tell it to create a new line before it repeats the loop, and to also create a small delay before repeating that loop so that it's constantly, again, going back and polling the module to determine if the control stick has actually changed location. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and upload the sketch to the Arduino, open the serial monitor, and if everything's gone to plan, you should see values that look like this as you move the control stick around. Okay, let's build another simple project that can use these analog and digital values to control some light emitting diodes on a breadboard. This time, instead of connecting the Arduino 5 volt pin directly to the VCC pin on the module, I'll use a jumper wire to connect the 5 volt pin on the Arduino to the positive rail of a breadboard. Additionally, I'll use another jumper wire to connect the ground pin of the Arduino to the negative rail of the breadboard. Please note in this example, I'm actually using a different joystick module, just another generic, uh, no brand thumbstick module, but it works and functions exactly the same way. But one thing you may notice is different is some of the labels on the pins. So in this case, we have VRX, which is the analog output for the left to right X axis. And we're going to connect that to an analog pin on the Arduino. We'll use A0, so the analog pin zero. VRY is the analog output for the up down Y axis and we'll connect this to an analog pin on the board as well which will be A1, analog pin 1. And then on this one we have SW which is the digital output from the push switch and we'll connect this to digital pin 8 on the Arduino. Then I'm going to connect the VCC pin of the module to the positive power rail of the breadboard and again, as you would expect, the ground pin from the module to the ground negative rail of the breadboard. And at this point, you have a very similar circuit to the one we built in the first example, but we're going to place a number of LEDs on the board, which we can drive and light up depending on the values coming from the joystick. Now, in this example, I'm using five LEDs, four red and one blue, but any color is fine. The four red LEDs I've positioned on the breadboard so that we can better visualize the X and Y axis movement as we move the control stick. The blue LED that I've placed off to the left will be used to show when the switch button has been pushed. All five LEDs are connected to the ground rail of the breadboard with an appropriate resistor value. Uh, be careful as well just to make sure that you've placed those LEDs correctly on the board with the shorter cathode leg going to negative or the ground rail. The only thing at this point that we still need to connect is a jumper wire between each anode, LED anode, so the positive leg of each LED, to the digital pins on the Arduino board. For this example, I've got the blue LED going to digital pin four on the Arduino, and then we have four red LEDs. The x-axis left is going to pin 13, the x-axis right is going to pin eight, the y-axis up is going to pin 12, and the y-axis down is going to pin seven. And now we can move on to the code and I will place a link to the code in the video description for your reference. Essentially though, we're doing the same thing as in the first example where we start by defining what each pin is and then we use the digital read and analog read functions to determine the control stick position. In this example though, we use a series of looped if statements and the digital write function to light up the corresponding LEDs based on the control stick position on each axis. Note that the way this is written, diagonal movement of the control stick would actually light up the two corresponding LEDs. Clicking the button down will register the digital pin connected to the switch and light up the blue LED. Obviously, this isn't a very useful application of ADC, but 
It gives you an idea of how that same system would be used to control all sorts of things, including motors. There are a couple of issues to consider when using analog joystick modules to control something in your project. Number one is that the analog to digital conversion process, it's not very accurate. It really isn't a true analog to digital conversion, and it relies on the sensitivity of the potentiometers in the joystick. Secondly, the Arduino, or whatever microcontroller you happen to use, has to dedicate a lot of processing power to constantly check the current position of the joystick. Now, it does depend on how fast you're repeating that loop to check if the position has changed, but either way, it is allocating processing power to completing that task, and it takes away processing power from other operations. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please click like, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this soon.